You are trying to shrink your way to wealth, and I'm going to tell you why that never ever works. Hi, my name is Keith Weinhold, host of the Get Rich Education podcast. I serve on the Forbes Real Estate Council, and I'm a writer for Forbes. To acquire wealth or just be free so that you have more time so that you can actually start to be yourself, you need to focus on increasing your income, not reducing your expenses. You need to focus on production and not reduction. You can't shrink your way to wealth. Do you know what is perhaps the worst advice I have ever heard in my entire life? It's live below your means. In a world of abundance, why would you settle for living even one day below your means? Instead, you could focus on expanding your means. So let's look at some examples of this, things that you might be doing, little everyday decisions that you're making because they do shape your wealth potential. It's really the sum of these actions that you take that help determine whether you're living a life below your means and scarcity or whether you are expanding your means and living a life of abundance. So let's look at examples of each one. Okay, did you spend years of your childhood practicing to become the high school mascot or practicing to become the high school quarterback? Okay, now there's nothing wrong with high school mascots, but you know, come on now. If you're going to practice to become one or the other, which one would you really rather be? Being a mascot and practicing to be one is living below your means and practicing to be a quarterback is expanding your means whether you make it or not. Did you spend an extra five minutes this week detouring to the cheapest car gasoline station or did you spend those extra five minutes with your family because you arrived home sooner from the nearby gas station? Did you live below your means by spending an extra 30 minutes waiting in line for a free Chick-fil-A sandwich? Or did you spend those 30 minutes expanding your means, learning how credit scores work so that you could get the best mortgage terms for up to 30 years? How about the way you spent one hour? Did you spend one hour mowing your grass when the neighbor kid would have done it for $40? Or did you instead expand your means and spend an hour of research to find your next income producing property that's going to kick off the cash flow every month. That's expanding your means. What about your month? Did you spend your month binge watching Netflix or did you expand your means by watching half as much Netflix and gaining some financial education? What about your next three years? Are you going to spend it in some of your spare time yanking weeds around home so that you could save a little money on landscaping and just hope that you'll live better someday? Or instead of living below your means that way, will you expand your means and spend those three years on 10 memorable family vacations and five seminar trips paid for from your income property? What about the way you spend your next 10 years? Will you live below your means by grinding for voluntary overtime work hours in front of spreadsheets in your office because your chief idea of income production is trading your time, the very fabric of your life, for dollars. Trading your time for dollars over and over and over. That's living below your means. Or did you expand your means? So over those 10 years, you had the time to attend your daughter's piano lessons and soccer practices. What about the way you spend 30 years? Will you spend them living below your means by being a landlord where every tenant has your phone number? Or will you spend those 30 years expanding your means, checking on your income properties distantly, like I do, with occasional emails to a trusted property manager who you've actually built a relationship with? Will you spend 40 years commuting to work? You commute both ways just to sell your soul and trade your time for dollars at a workaday job that you might not even like. That's living below your means. Or will you expand your means by enjoying durable, passive income streams from income property, using your extra time to find 
fulfillment or create memories with loved ones, will you spend your entire life thinking, I'm going to live below my means and get debt free? Or will you expand your means, outsource your debt to tenants and be financially free? That's expansion. And finally, does your entire mindset and do your work habits consist of hauling water buckets to the garden every day? Or do you expand your means by setting up a sprinkler system in the garden just one time? You can choose a life of living your fears or living your dreams. And in life, settling for less always correlates with regret. Just look back on your past. You're more likely to regret what you didn't do, not what you did do. A rich person digs for gold, and a poor person is concerned with the cost of a shovel. These choices are all yours. Don't live below your means, expand your means. That's actually an enduring mantra from the Rich Dad Poor Dad books, and I asked Robert Kiyosaki about it on my podcast. In fact, you can listen to my Get Rich Education audio podcast on demand anytime, or if you don't know how to listen to podcasts, you can download the Get Rich Education app for both Apple or Android. If you would rather read a short book about what I just described, and I give a lot of examples of living below your means or expanding your means, what you can do then is grab the free e-version of my international best-selling book. The book's called Seven Money Myths, and you can get that at getricheducation.com slash book for free. You'll never shrink your way to wealth. Instead, you grow your way to wealth. You can grab my ebook free and you really start thinking and behaving differently. Again, you can do that at getricheducation.com slash book. 71% of Americans aren't saving enough for retirement. It's going to get worse as people live longer and you need to start thinking differently, but you can't lose your time. Real estate is the investment vehicle that's made more ordinary people wealthy than anything else. Keith Weinhold of Get Rich Education is hosts of one of America's top investing shows, Disrupting Wall Street. He's an international best-selling author and has been an active income property investor since 2002. He has created thousands in passive monthly income for countless followers. And now he has a free book, The Seven Principles for creating wealth in your life. Get your copy now at getricheducation.com forward slash book. That's getricheducation.com forward slash book because invest in what produces income for you now and later. Keith Weinhold is your guy. Sign up now at getricheducation.com forward slash book.